Hey guys, up Sanu. I'm going to make a little progress video here. Um, today is February 28th, about 4 p.m. Um, I've been putting out this video for a while, not because of time restraints, um, but because I keep thinking, well, let me do this and then I'll make the progress video because it will make my account look a little bit more impressive. Like, you know, I'll say, okay, let me do Dragon Slayer and then I'll make the progress video because, uh, you know, my stats will be a little bit higher. But I figure let's just get this um, done and then I'll make another when I have even, even more shit done. So right off the bat, show you my stats. Not bad considering um, the amount of time I've been playing. Um, of course there are people who like you know they don't have a job or you know they're not in school anymore and they just ha have all day free and they can just play 10 hours a day. Um, if I had that kind of time I'd be a lot higher stats but I think where I am right now is pretty impressive. We've got 42 attack, 34 strength, 32 defense. Um, it's boosted because I used the Excalibur a minute ago. Um, 31 prayer, 30 magic. Most of this is from quests. You get quite a lot of XP from quests, and I'll show you my quest points in a little bit. 35 agility. I got 30 just from the gnome course because I figured it would be good to get you know your agility up a little bit because the run in this game is um, actually a little bit more realistic. I mean, in real life, you really can't run for too long um, with all this armor on, you know, without running out of energy. So uh, the run system is actually a little bit more realistic in the, in RuneScape 2007, but it's a lot easier in EOC where you can pretty much just run forever. Um, well, I haven't really trained range much. It, much. It's kind of hard to train um, at this level and it's just, I'll get around to it when I have the money. Um, got Herblor up a little bit there. 15 fishing, 22 cooking. Um, got that a little bit. Um, also I did the 1k XP thing from Varak Museum. Nice little thing, you get 9 Slayer 900. Um, so good total levels. Also did a little bit of wood cutting and um, thieving, I've been doing silk at Ardoyan, um, which is very good money, by the way, and that got me around 25 thieving. Just did like cakes and regular pickpocketing for uh, 25. Um, so that's about it for my stats. I have a pretty nice gear here. Um, we got full initiate, a rune longsword, which I'm very proud of. It's a pretty cool weapon. Um, the rune skimmy is, a, of course, a little bit better, but you can buy a rune longsword from the Champions Guild for 32,000 gold, 32k, um, which you need about, I think it's 35 quest points to enter, and rune skimmies are usually, you get them from drops from, like, fire giants, so they're a lot rare, and if you wanted to buy one, the street price would probably be somewhere around 60k right now, uh, which is very expensive, and it's also not easy to find a seller, so right now I'm sticking with the rune longsword. I uh, got a gnome amulet, also got an amulet of accuracy if I want, if I'm training combat, I want that little plus for accuracy boost, but otherwise this gives very similar um, defensive stats to the Amulet of Fury. Um, got my little cape from the, what's it called, the Highwayman. Uh, got my um, fancy boots from the Stronghold of Security. Also got some basic leather gloves. Um, I'll probably buy some like gold leather gloves from Canifus when I get the chance, but they have the same stats, so these will work fine for now. Initiate's really nice because it's basically mithril armor but with a prayer bonus, you get it from the Recruitment Drive quest. Um, you get the helmet for free and you have to buy this. It's like 18k, I think, for both of these pieces. So it's like Mithril Armor, but it's it, it has a very nice prayer bonus. You see, plus 14 prayer. Um, very unique for armors. Um, of course, there's Proslet, which is basically the equivalent. It's basically an upgraded initiate. It's Proslet. The trim is a little bit darker. That's how you tell the difference. Um, that gives a little bit more prayer and a little bit, and it gives Adam and Defense stats, so... There's also no kite shield, so right now I'm just sticking with steel. Um, if I can find a better kite shield, I'll, I'll certainly use it. The Falador Shields shop, the little lady there, sells it up to the Mithril Square shield, but the Myth Square is usually out of stock. This is also too, so I got this, luckily. Um, it actually matches the armor pretty well. Um, the bank, unfortunately, is not very impressive. I really haven't gotten around to money-making, so I'll run through it quickly. Um, I've been saving pretty much everything, every item I get, because you need so many random items for quests that I just hold on to things like purple dye, you know, plenty of quests need dye, so I'm just hold on, holding on to that. Um, I'll go through my, the quests that I've done in a little bit. I saved up my old armor just as a backup, you know, like iron and stuff. Also got the frog token exchange for some prince uh, stuff. Plenty of cakes from thieving here. Got a black plate legs, used to use those till I got the uh, thing. Um, a medium treasure trail. 
Um, I did one, it was a coordinate, and then the next one requires you to have green dragon hide legs, so that'll take a while, but I'm holding on to that until I can do it. Um, some of my older weapons, I used the Excalibur for a while from the Holy Grail quest. That gives almost as... The best weapon in the game for the first few days was the Adamant Longsword, because you could buy that from the Varrock shop, although their their stock is very limited. So a good, a good alternative was this, the Excalibur from the Holy Grail. Actually, no, Merlin's Crystal, crystal um, excuse me, which, uh, very good defensive, very good stats here um, for what it is. It's around a myth longsword, and you also get the special attack, which gets you eight defense levels, so I still carry this around um, just for the defense. Very nice. Also, it's hard to find a weapon that has a special attack this early on. Also, Silverlight, but I got that last night, so I don't really need that. Silverlight's actually not bad because it's actually a rune longsword against demons, but I already have a regular rune longsword anyway, so I'd just use that. Although, if I'm doing lesser demons or something, I would just use silver lights, so I don't have to, have to risk uh, the rune longsword. Although, I'd probably keep something else over it. So, we got my old Addy weapons. Started with the Addy mace, got the adamant sword, so I can finally get um, the rune longsword there. Got some dyes, gonna use those for quests. Did a little bit of cooking and fishing earlier, so I'm just saving my burnt shrimp there. Um, the runes is pretty nice. You can get free air runes and mine runes 30 every half hour from the Mage Tutor and Lumbridge, so I usually do that. Also, um, we have my little mage come up here. We got Blue Skirt. Um, Shoutouts to uh, the song Thrift Shop, by the way. I love that song. Anyway, so got a fire staff. Nothing too interesting in my bank. Just want to show you guys. Main thing of interest here is the quests that I've done. I've done a lot of quests. Quests are very helpful. Um, they'll get you levels very quickly. You know, most of these levels are just from quests, pretty much. Um, other than agility, which I did a, mostly was just from my own training. Black Knight's Fort. I'll go through them a little bit. Um, you need Black Knight, Black Knight's Fortress for recruitment drive. Cook's Assistant. Nice little cooking XP. You also get that range in Lumbridge, which has a lower burn rate than all of other ranges in the game. So very useful. Demon Slayer. Nothing too... You don't really need to do that quest for any particular reason, but it's not too bad, and it's also pretty fun to do. Um, it's kind of interesting. This is the third time in my life I've been doing most of these quests because um, I have two accounts, Andrew JT62 and Andrew AJT62. Um, Andrew AJT62 is a peer in EOC, and Andrew JT62 is my main in the main game. So I use Andrew AJT62 for the friend chat, by the way. By the way, yeah, join Andrew AJT62 friend chat. Usually at night, we'll actually get like 10, 12 people and we have some pretty nice conversations, so I like it. In Catcher, you get very nice mage XP from that. Also, uh, Amulet of Accuracy, a very nice amulet, which is tradable, by the way. I, I never understood why that's tradable, maybe because it's an early quest. Um, questing. The Restless Ghost, you get like 11 prior off that, so it's worth doing. Rune Mysteries, you need that for rune crafting and mining, so you're going to have to do that eventually, so just do it now. Sheep Shear, some good crafting XP, very easy quest. Vampire Slayer, some good attack XP, which is potion, good mage XP. We got a Druidic, Druidic Ritual, you need that for Herblore. Um, interesting thing about Herblore, they actually changed, I mentioned in my other video, um, that they changed the herbs to Grimy, but because people complain, they actually changed it back to Unidentified. Um, I wish they just would have had a poll about that in the first place rather than change it, than change it back, but I'm glad they changed it back, um, even though it's really not a big deal other than making Herblore a lot more difficult. Um, what else we got going on here? The Grand Tree, you need that. It's a prerequisite for Monkey Madness, but it gives you a lot of um, EXP, if I'm thinking correctly. i just check that here. The Grand Tree. I don't know. Why did I, oh, you know why I did that? Because you get the Spirit Trees. Spirit Trees let you teleport pretty much from... Varrock to Ardoin and the Gnome Stronghold, and otherwise you'll have to be walking a lot, so I did that. It's a very nice method of teleportation, even if your magic is low. Holy Grail, you get um, a ton of defense and prayer XP, so very recommended. You get like 30 defense from that. 32, actually. So I, rec I recommend you guys do that. You need Merlin's Crystal for that. Yeah, you need to do this quest first. Uh, Priest in Peril, to gain access to the whole eastern side of RuneScape, so definitely worth doing that. Recruitment Drive, of course, for Initiate. What else do we got going on here? 
and Trinum Village, you get the Gnome Amulet, very good defensive stats, and also you get the... Um, no, you know what? I, I fucked that up. You get the Gliders from the Grand Tree, the Gnome Gliders, and the Spirit Trees from Trinum Village. And also Waterfall, first quest I did. Probably should have waited until I had more um, HP, but that's a very important quest to do. It'll get you from 1 to 30 attack and strength, so... Certainly recommend it. So I don't know if I should have bothered going through all those, but I think it was worth doing that just to show you guys some good quests to do. It's also kind of funny. Um, RuneScape 2007 was kind of a trans was kind of a transition period between old RuneScape and new RuneScape. We have achievement diaries coming around. We have um, this is we have some graphics being updated. You can see the guards over there. Um, if I run over here, are the newer guards, just like they are today. Uh, Varrock is updated, so a lot of things were just about to change in RuneScape in Rune when around this time of August 2007. You know, the God Wars dungeon comes out like two weeks later, if this was actually August 2007. So it's kind of an interesting period in the game to play. Um, clan chats are out. That's probably the, re the sole reason why I would prefer RuneScape 2007, just because of clan chats. Um, of course, now they're called French chats, and we have other things called called uh, clan chats, which I don't really use. Um, also, the music has been updated multiple times. This is after one of the one of the music updates, so the music is a little bit different than 2006, but it's still pretty similar. So anyway, I'm gonna go do the Ghost Ahoy quest. I'll get the uh, ectofile from that, which tells you to that area, which is pretty handy. Also, some uh, decent prayer XP, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's prayer XP. So. That's my progress video. Um, I have all like the pictures of me, of me completing the quest. Like for example, like this. I mean, I could make a video where I just go through, like put some music. <coughs> Excuse my voice. <coughs> I could put some music behind it and just go through all these little quest things. Um, but I'm not gonna. What's going on with this music? Random event. Yep. Oh, I love these. I missed it though. Shit. I'm just gonna have to guess. The only thing about this random event, it takes like an hour. Okay, cry. I don't remember this music. Because usually you play RuneScape with the music off, even though the music is kind of nice in 2007. Of course I have to do the little cheer remote. I'm just going to cut through this. There we go, and wow, we actually got two pieces of the mime out of it. That's that's kind of odd. Nowadays you just get one piece. Um, actually, I don't know how you get the, this anymore because they remove random events from the main game. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to do some homework about that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, join Andrew AJT62 French Chat. Also, if you've listened to me rant for 13 minutes, I think I deserve a, uh, a like. Just tap the like button once and I'll appreciate it. Anyway, so I'll be doing Ghost Ahoy, I'll be doing Dragon Slayer, and expect more videos to come. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.